kind of sketchy. <laughs> I wish I could be as free spirited as she would. Good morning. Today is the third day in Washington. Today is wonderful because the sun's out. When I was checking the weather last week, basically it said it was gonna rain until Friday, but today is a Wednesday and I rechecked the weather and it said it was not going to rain for the remaining of the week. So yes, super happy and excited because me and rainy weather just do not go hand in hand, especially from someone who grew up and lived her whole life in California. I've been craving so many hot soups and I'm starting to miss Asian food. I'm gonna go to a Boiling Point, which is a chain of hot pot. They have it in California too. I'm gonna be trying this one here in Bellevue. After that, we'll see if I can get a ticket to go to the underground tour near Pioneer Square. It'd be really interesting to learn about the history of Seattle. All right, here is the Bellevue Boiling Point. I made it into Cherry Street and they said the tickets are underneath the black awning. So I found the little sign right here. It says beneath the streets, underground history tour. I'm going to take you to three sections of underground and we're going to talk about why we have it and how it was built and how it's been used. All right, we're on the sidewalk we're just underneath. The door we just went through is under this window here. Once that fire got going, it ripped through the city. Each building has something flammable or explosive to contribute. from downtown Seattle from the Beneath the Streets tour. And the tour is really interesting. Like I expected, they did talk a lot about the history of Seattle and how it became the day it is. They were talking about how the streets were actually really low back then. And uh, there were a lot of illegal bars, speakeasies, prostitution, those type of stuff underneath in the underground area, but it's definitely transformed a lot to modern day Seattle. So that was really interesting to learn about the history of Seattle. I thought the tour guide was very informative. So I originally signed up for the 3.30 tour, but then I was able to come a little early and they allowed me to just join the 2.30 tour. So that was really great. They were really flexible. I liked that my group was actually very interactive with the tour guide. They asked a lot of questions to the tour guide and because of that it actually extended the tour so if you go underneath the streets it's very dusty and moldy as expected so i was sneezing more than usual so just kind of be wary of that if you're super allergic to dust and whatnot would i recommend it yeah i mean it was around 30 dollars to buy the ticket for an adult it's not too ridiculously expensive it's worth it i would do it if you're coming to Seattle for the first time. After we finished the tour, I walk 
walked around downtown Seattle area and it's kind of sketchy. <laughs> All downtowns in major and metropolitan areas are sketchier or more ghetto than usual. Don't get me wrong, but it's definitely a different vibe than where we're staying at here in Bellevue. I would say one thing that's different about downtown Seattle versus downtown LA is that I actually saw security patrols throughout the downtown district that helps in terms of feeling as if there's someone there to help you if something were to happen. But yeah, I would say if you're a petite solo woman just wandering by herself, it's probably fine during the daytime, but it's towards the nighttime. You would probably stay away from downtown Seattle. That's all I can say. All right, we're gonna go grab dinner. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to where? Dozone. Oh, Dozone. Mm -hmm. This is the matcha mochi parfait. I literally look forward to this every year when we come to Washington. And when we come to Japan. Oh, yeah. It's good. Mm. Wow, the last time I had this was in December. Yeah, when we were in Japan. All right, just came back from dinner and Nana's. My belly is full. <sighs> Think of it was okay. Eh. The one we usually go to called Major Dumpling. I think that one's better. I feel like the dumplings at Major are so much bigger. And the meat's also bigger too, huh? This one had a lot of juice. Yeah, this one did have a lot of juice. And then, yeah, after that, we went to Nana's Green Tea. It was so good. It was as good as I imagined it to be. Then, yeah, back in the hotel. Gonna close it out for today. Good morning guys! Today is day 4 of our Washington trip. We're gonna go to the Museum of Pop Culture. Let's go! So I remember last time I was talking about how they're putting police patrols. Yeah, so those are the people wearing the gray shirt. Also, they have police carmen trucks here. Just monitoring the downtown area here in Seattle. Wow, seeing the girl dance and she's so happy. Oh, I wish I could be as free spirited as she was. I'm gonna dance by myself like nobody's watching. Don't really care if my rhythm's up. Wow, I didn't know Nirvana and the whole grunge scene originated from Seattle. I also didn't know Jimi Hendrix was born and raised in Seattle, which definitely influenced his style of R&B music. Thank you. 
for life of films moving forward that our characters would have, you know, pretty realistic moving hair. Oh my god, I remember the first time I watched Coraline as a kid. I was so scared from the movie and I got nightmares because animation, the puppetry, and the plot was just so dark. Oh my god, this view is so, 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 so beautiful.